Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. It is really breezy out there on the beach, so it's going to be hard hearing me this morning. Looks like the surf is really up this morning. 83 degrees out there. Water temperature is 88. Expecting a high today of right up around 90. Slight chance of rain later today. But again, it is really, really windy out here. So it might be hard to hear me. You're gonna hear a lot of wind noise this morning, but let's take a walk out to the beach and see what we find. This is area one where I'm at right now. Really nice access point. Nice ramp going down to the beach here. See if the stabilizer can hold the camera this morning. A lot of times when it's windy like this, the wind will blow the camera right around. So far, so good. these waves don't wash up some nice shells, I don't know what will. Low tides, oh, I think around 4 o'clock this afternoon. Might be a great time to come out and do some shelling. Yesterday when I left the beach we had 53 sea turtle nests. I don't know if there were any more crawls last night. We'll try to find out. Those are park rangers getting ready to make their early morning rounds.
really nice with the breeze out here. I'm sure it's noisy. There's nothing I can do about that. High tide is at about 9 o'clock this morning. Hard to walk here this morning. The sand is really soft here. A lot of seaweed out here this morning. Didn't know if that was a piece of wood from one of the sea turtle nests or not. I hope we didn't lose any nests. Turn around, look back down the beach. Looks like the rangers are still moving down on the south there. It doesn't look like they stopped. <clears throat> that dredging barge is still anchored offshore here. Hopefully that's going to be going away soon, but I don't know. They haven't been doing any dredging for the past week. there's any action over here on any of these little nests. Nest number 17, no. Nope. sinking down into this sand as I walk along this morning. Getting quite the workout. See when high tide, when it's high tide, there's not a lot of beach left here. Which 
between our just our regular summer thunderstorms and then tropical storms and hurricanes on top of that, this beach gets pounded. It's constantly changing shape and size. This was an old nest here that hatched. Yesterday there was a couple shells laying out from the eggs. There's a piece, piece of a shell it's starting to dry out now. Piece of a sea turtle egg shell. This is this was our newest nest as of yesterday, nest 53. We actually saw the ranger verifying that nest yesterday, digging down. We saw a couple of the eggs in there. <coughs> Excuse me, nest 53. <coughs> Pardon me. This is area three that I'm in now. Look, there's a, a little shell tree. Somebody started a little shell tree down here already. That's great. Yeah, it kind of sucks to see this up here. Kind of sad to see this, but this sea turtle nest is not going to survive up here. This girl just didn't come high enough up onto the beach. You can see that nest has been underwater now. And if these waves keep pounding like they are, it's probably going to expose the eggs in the nest. That's not good. Hey Mark. Our rangers picking up trash. It's a shame that people don't respect the beach. This is up at the north end of Area 3. Three nests at the north end of Area 3. Number 12 back there in the back. Should be getting close to hatching time back there. At number 47, that's got a ways to go over here. I don't know what number that is. I don't see a number on the stakes. 
That was, yeah, that's an S15. So these two, 12 and 15, should be getting close. Haven't seen any signs of any crawls last night, from last night. Here comes some pelicans flying down towards me, see if they come up, fly overhead or if they veer off into the water. A little formation of three pelicans. Love watching those pelicans. Oh, and there comes a fourth one flying in. <laughs> That's so cool watching them. Oh, there goes a couple more. I haven't seen the rangers stop at all. So they probably haven't, haven't seen any new crawls on the beach. Or any signs of any hatchings. Looks like Roy's standing up there up in area four. Up and say hi to him. Old nest number three down here. I don't know what the scoop is on that one. That should have hatched by now. That was one of our first nests, number three. Something must have happened there. Definitely a windy and wavy morning today. Windy and wavy. Oh boy, looking up ahead, looks like the rangers got their four-wheeler stuck in the sand. Looks like they hit a soft spot and it sunk down into the sand. That's not good. See the sun's just starting to pop out now, come up over the trees, starting to light up the waves out there. That's the old barge sitting out there. Still there, but not pumping out the sand.
be really hard to spot a dolphin out here this morning with all these waves. The water looks nice considering how rough it is here. The water looks nice and clean. It's a little sandy, but that's to be expected with all these waves. Looking for shells here, but not seeing much of anything. We're just out here this morning. Hey, there's a big pool party this afternoon from 12 to 4.30 at Harold's Place down at the Gulf Coast Inn. Going to be buy one, get one, I think, drinks and burgers and hot dogs. Going to have a DJ out at, by the pool. Probably go down there for about an hour or so, about one o'clock. It's gonna be a good time. Harold's place from noon till 4:30. Customer Appreciation Day. Big pool party. And tonight, the Pelican Larry's you come check out the Ben Allen Band. An awesome, awesome band, the Ben Allen Band. Pelican Larry's. Pelican Larry's out on Immokalee Road. Excuse me. Then at the North Naples Country Club tonight, great duo, Double Dare. Great band, Double Dare. I believe they start around 8, 8.30 at the North Naples Country Club. Boy, not a lot of shells here this morning. And the water is just getting higher and higher here as the tide comes in. Normally that's where we have our new little sandbars out there where the waves are breaking. Like taking a walk out there, but that's not going to happen today. Anything down here? walking around shelling how they miss them I don't know Our rain 
Rangers beach cart. They got stuck in a darn hole that somebody left. It was like when they were turning around, the four-wheeler just dropped down it into a hole. So they went back to get another four-wheeler to pull it out. Don't leave holes on the beach. There's Roy heading this way. Well, I gotta pick up one shell, I guess. Let's see. There's a cockle shell. One of our little baby cockle shells. One of our slipper shells right next to it. You can always count on finding slipper shells out here on the beach. Slipper shells. There's three slipper shells right there. Little slippers. You can always count on finding a worm tip or two. There's a worm, the tip of a worm shell there. There's another one right here bigger one. There's a piece of worm rock, a worm shell and a worm rock. A little piece of worm rock. What else? There's got to be a little something down here. An old fighting conch. An old worn out fighting conch shell. Not sure what these little what these little guys are turbans or something little tiny little tiny shell over here a little tiny looks like a murex shell just a little tiny murex very small murex shell missing the top of it little black scallop shell. Part of a banded tulip shell. A little slipper shell. Here's a little tiny slipper. Little baby slipper shell. See, when you stop, you can find all kinds of interesting things. Not always gigantic shells, but still beautiful nonetheless. There's a inside of a whelk shell. I call that the stem. The inside of an old lightning whelk. Part of an old jewel box shell. This piece of a little, little tiny baby whelk shell. Look at that. All the little babies. Amazing, very interesting. Look at that, there's another. 
little baby conk and a little baby well little baby pear well that's a little baby pear whelk right there little baby conk little tiny baby pear whelk wow that's cool Quite a few worm tips out here. Give you a look around while I straighten my back. <laughs> walk up the beach just a little further and turn around come back and chat with Roy good Roy how are you doing yeah oh well it happens it happens every once in a while yeah there's a big soft spot there I know when I go up swimming off that point you sink into the soft spot yeah there. you gotta be careful <coughs> I told him about the chair is still up on the, <laughs> the typewriter chair. Yeah, still <laughs> that <up> was funny. <laughs> Boy, your sand is, the waves Boy, are coming up, to your, morning, yeah. coming up to your chair here. Yeah, when you, yeah I almost lost my little piece there. Yeah, it looks like your sandals Boy, almost you washed away. When you there and you go around the trees, you really, the waves really run up your yeah. legs, I'll tell you. I don't think I'm going to go up there. I'm going to go up a little further. I'll be back in a few minutes, all right? Good, Come good. up, get a, word for, get a word for us. Oh, I got a lot of words. Oh, morning. yeah. It's a glorious morning. A wordsmith. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll be back in a few. Boy, it is windy out here. Breezy, breezy. Turn around here. Looks like the Rangers got their other four-wheeler out here now, so they'll be able to get that one that's stuck out of there. That doesn't happen very often. But there are some, lately there's been some a lot of really soft spots. And also holes. People live leaving holes on the beach unfortunately. Well, Roy's gonna go up and supervise the operation there. Being the engineer that he is They'll tell him how to get that thing out of there. finish making their rounds. Roy's stuff is going to get washed away here. Oh 
Well, we'll walk up the beach just a little further. I'll come back and talk to Roy. Have a little chat with Roy. See if he comes up with a word of the day for us. Part of a big cockle shell buried in the sand. You never get this half of one. You never know when you see a shell sticking out. You never know what you're gonna find when you grab it. There's a nice feather. Find lots of feathers on the beach from the shorebirds. I don't know what that's from, if that's a pelican. Nice feather though. Well, there they go with both their buggies now. No, no signs of any new sea turtle crawls. So I think we're still holding at 53 nests. Anything interesting down here. Really windy morning. Part of a tulip, part of a banded tulip shell. Still lots of cockles out here. There was lots of cockles yesterday. Still lots of them out here today. Oh, darn it. Part of a moon shell. Part of a little shark eye here. Pretty broken, pretty busted up. Those are always fun to find. Seeing lots of these slippers on the beach. Lots of slipper shells. Here's a big fat kitten's paw shell, a big fat one. Piece of a murex over here. Piece of an apple murex shell. I think we saw that yesterday. Part of an apple murex. Now, you can look inside it. That's kind of cool. The apple murex. It's a little one. What else is strewn about the beach here? That water is getting close. There's a piece of a worm shell. Just a piece of one. It's a really nice little cockle shell. I'm gonna keep that one. That's a nice little specimen. Nice color. Little baby cockle. It's 
Nice wave action out here this morning. Really nice. Isn't that beautiful? The light just streaking across the beach. Well, the tide is definitely coming in. There's the tip or the point, the top of a Florida fighting conch shell. <coughs> Excuse me. That's like caught in my throat. neat is <clears throat> there's like little piles of shells and as the waves come in it, they just kind of re redistribute the shells so you never know what you're going to find out here there's I mean you could spend the rest of your life digging out here in these piles of shells but it's better just to let the waves do the work for you Much easier. Let Mother Nature do the work for you. Well, the water's coming all the way back up to the dune here, to the dunes. shells are all the way back here. Wow. Well, I think this is as far north as I'm going to go this morning. Gorgeous out here though. Nice breeze. That water's 88 degrees. Today we're looking at a high of just oh right around 90. Lots and lots and lots of little broken shells all around here. There I see the top of a whelk shell over there. It's the top of a lightning whelk. Mm -hmm. 
never know what you're going to find buried in here. I love listening to these waves. really hard walking here. <clears throat> There's so many broken shells. Hopefully all these waves bring up some nice new shells along the beach. Maybe low tide. Come out, maybe find some really nice little treasures out here. Just can't get over how many cockle shells there are on the beach. You know, I haven't seen any olive shells lately. Where is it? The side of a banded tulip shell, just the side. Isn't that beautiful? They're beautiful shells, the banded tulips, when you find them. It's just the side of one of them. Piece of worm rock growing on an oyster shell. It's an oyster.
It's part of a crown conch, an old crown conch. There's a turkey wing shell, one of our turkey wings. out here. That's looking to the north. We're up at the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Pretty breezy out here this morning. A lot of wind noise. Nothing I can do about that. Nice little wave action for a Saturday morning. The Gulf Coast is normally much calmer, always much calmer than the East Coast of Florida. of an old scallop shell here. Actually, it is an old scallop shell. Look at that. Wow. Getting some barnacles on it. That's pretty cool. Well, there's that moon shell. I saw that. That's the one I picked up earlier. It's got a big chip in it. They're neat, the moon shell, or also called a shark eye shell. This one's missing a big piece of the bottom of it. The shark eye. It's a nice slipper shell down here. Nice big slipper shell. You see why they call it a slipper shell when you flip it over? It's like a slipper. These are really common here. Now oh, here's something. This is a tennis ball shell. A tennis ball shell. This would be a pen four. <laughs> Just kidding. Find all kinds of things on the beach here. running out of shells here as I head back down the beach. The shelling has been really sporadic. They've been doing some dredging to the north of the beach here. And then what they've been doing is pumping the sand offshore here of the beach and it's really affected the shelling. I'm afraid what's going to happen now is all the good shells are going to get caught. There's like a new sandbar out here and all the good shells are going to get caught on that sandbar out there. So we're only going to be able to go out and do some good shelling up at, the, at least at the north end of the park at low tide. And you can get out on those sandbars. You hear that wind blowing. Boy, nice onshore breeze. One of the highlights of our beach walks is talking with our friend Roy, 93 years old. He always has something good for us. Maybe a tune on his harmonica, maybe some advice. 
some words of wisdom. Sometimes it's just something funny. There he is over here in his chair, Captain Roy. Over here singing up a storm. Sing it, Roy. Tell me that you love me one more time <laughs> for the good times. There you go. Oh, what the a wonderful times. day, isn't it? It is wonderful. Oh, it's just loving cool. that breeze. Oh, what a wind! I tell you, love it. I love it. I had to put my sunglasses on with blowing my eyes so hard. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it is windy. That's for sure. Yeah. No doubt about well, that. Well, they got the Jeep out of the hole. That was stuck. Yeah, that, that was really buried in there, <laughs> wasn't another it? Another Jeep to pull it out. <laughs> oh, what a good time. So how's everything going for you? Oh, it's going good. Well, you yeah. can't beat that. Nope, nope. So did you come up with a, a word of the day or a couple words of the day? Well, or what did you come up just, with for It's us? just the glory of the wind and the waves. I tell you, love those waves crashing. The wind blowing, the water sweeping up the beach, and the sun rising in the east, and the clouds, oh, and the tint in the clouds, and the oh, blue Oh, this morning sky. was pretty, wasn't it, that it's sunrise over glorious, there? Glorious, glorious, yeah. glorious. Just, I tell you, life is so fantastically wonderful. That's <laughs> the word, is just enjoying the fantastic journey through life here. You got that right. Enjoying that journey. Oh, it's so glorious. That's so glorious, we... I'll tell you. Yeah. I'm just carried away with it, especially when the wind blows, I'll tell you. The sun rises. Do you feel that serotonin out yeah, there this the morning? Yeah, the waves crash. Yep. Maybe that's it. All these waves crashing. Yep. Oh, boy. Lots of really... serotonin out here today. I think they are, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. It's glorious, all right. Glorious. Very quiet, though. Not a lot of people out here. <laughs> no. Was there anybody out there fishing this morning? No, there were no, not for a long time. Just when I was leaving, one of the uh, one of the fishermen came. That little Korean guy. Uh huh. It's always so very pleasant and smiles. So he came. That was it. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty rough. So yeah, was it rough up there, at Wiggins Pass, at the pass? Well, no, not the pass, but going around the trees was quite a job. Yeah. The waves were pushing on up. So nice. it looks like that big pipe came off of the barge. Have you noticed that? It used to be ah. angling up. I wonder if because the barge is... is oh, um, yeah, it's like un not attached to it anymore. Teetering yeah. around, maybe it uh, fell off. Good. <laughs> maybe they'll get it the heck out of here. I don't know what's happening. Yes. <laughs> I see the dredge is still anchored up in there. Yeah, it's not doing anything, though, fortunately. Yeah. So what are you going to do today? Just hang out? Yeah, I'm going to hang out here and you know, go back around noon. I got book sales coming in. That's always a delight. That's great. So everything's fine. Everything's great. Tell people where they can find your book. Tell them the title of it. Uh, how I Lived to Be uh, Almost uh, uh, Healthy and Happy to Be Almost 100. There you go. <laughs> By Roy Hazy. Yeah. You can find that on Amazon. <coughs> yep. Yeah, that's, it's on Amazon, all right. Full you of get good a hard tips. copy, or just read it, or send me twenty bucks, and I'll send you the, the special the book edition and, book inscribed to you. There you go. Yeah, mail to 98095th Avenue North, Naples, Florida, three four one zero eight. Well, there you go. Seven one eight ninety fifth Avenue North, Naples, Florida, three four one zero eight. Well, there you go. All right. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what else. I don't know. I don't have a lot to talk about well, this we've morning. We've covered the waterfront. We have covered it, haven't we? Over the years. <laughs> yeah, you've been, been a lot of years already. <laughs> we talked about enough to write a hundred books. <laughs> yeah. When did I first meet you down here? I don't know. It was over two years ago. Oh yeah, a lot more. Yeah. Than that. Probably come probably three years. Coming up on three. Well, or 20 or something. Yeah, 20, 100, who knows? Who cares, right? <laughs> yeah, just think of 20 years from now. Every day is another day, and 
Another glorious day. Live it full of zest. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Do your best. And the good Lord takes care of the rest. That's right. And we're richly, richly blessed. There you go. <laughs> All right, Roy. Then he opens up the heavens and says, Be my guest, and I'll bring you eternal rest. There you go. You can't beat all of that, I'll tell no, you. you can't. <laughs> God bless. God all right. Bless. Well, I got to walk back down to area one there, where I started. Oh, you you, you have a great day. You too, Rob. Always great seeing you. All right. You. I'll see you sooner than later, that's for sure. That'll be great. All right. God bless and tally-ho. God bless you and tally-ho. <laughs> Keep Love on. all the wonderful Facebook friends. Yep, our Facebook friends. Keep on smiling. Be careful on your plunge today. It's a little rough out there. Yeah, I'm going plunging off the end of that sand spit. It gets deeper quicker. Otherwise, you're running all these sandbars. All right. I ran into one yesterday and I really got pounced on it. It was really bad. Well, you be careful out yeah. there. <laughs> I don't... All right, Roy. I'll see you later. Take care. Yep. Our good friend, Roy. I think you can hear that wind when I turn around. It's going right in my face now. Good morning. It's really invigorating this morning out here. I can kind of feel the salt on my face from the spray. There's a little spray out here with these waves. little snowy egrets here. They got little yellow feet. These are, these are buried in the sand right now. But they'll just stand here waiting for a fish to come by. It's amazing how they can catch fish in these waves. Little pinfish. You kind of see his yellow feet there. A little snowy egret. This is all relatively new beach right out here. This spit, this is what Roy was talking about. This little spit sticking out, that's all new. beach is just constantly changing, constantly, with, their, with our storms and hurricanes. Behind me, up to the north there, we've lost a lot of beach, a lot of beach. There's right now with the high tide, there's pretty much no beach up there, you see that? lost it all up there. There's Roy in his chair. But if you look further to the north, you'll see all those condos up there. I if I can zoom in more. Whoops, sorry about that. Try to zoom in some more. That's Bonita Beach, those condos, and it goes all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. You can just see Fort Myers Beach up there in the distance. That's to the north of us. There's our little snowy egret again, walking by. It's kind of rough out here this morning for Naples, for the Gulf Coast. You know, I'm going to take a quick photo, bear with me, don't go anywhere. 
Sorry about that. I can just do video or take photos. I like to take just a couple photos during my walk to share later. Guess what I'll do is I'll post this video on YouTube. You can watch it in a little better quality on YouTube. And then I'll, I'll share the links on Facebook. Oh, here's two interesting shells. Here's a, can't tell, it looks like a lace murex, an old lace murex. Look at that, it's got barnacles, excuse me, barnacles growing on it. Old lace murex shell, wow, that's a really old one. A lace murex. And then, here's a little tiny crown conch. It's missing its top. That's a little tiny crown conch right there. A lace murex on the left, and a little crown conch on the right. Pretty cool, huh? They were just sitting here side by side. That's neat. Anything else interesting? Let's see. piece of a lightning whelk shell. Those lightning whelks are beautiful. This one's kind of busted up here. You can see the back of it. The lightning whelk. Beautiful shells. Always a great find, the lightning whelk. There's a, looks like a part of an old fighting conch right there. I thought I saw a piece of a pear whelk here. Another old, there's an old apple murex. Piece of an old apple murex shell. A lot of worm shells there this morning. The more I look around, the more I start seeing. Oh, here's an auger shell. Lots of pieces of worm shells out here. Just picking some up to show you. Lots of bits and pieces of worm shells. Oh, this looks, looks like another old piece of an old crown conch here. Wow, very cool. That's really old. That was probably at the big bottom of Wiggins Pass for a long time. It probably got sucked up in the dredging operation and pumped out here onto the beach. That's really old. So it's left of a little baby fighting con. Little baby fighting conch shell. This worm rock, I, I always, this worm rock just fascinates me. Oh, it's next to the worm rock. Another. Oh, look at that. Another one of those little crown conchs that probably got sucked up from Wiggins Pass. Another little crown conch. Beautiful shells, though, when you find them, the, con the crown conchs. I was picking up this piece of worm rock, and that was right next to it. That worm rock cool. Yeah, it's so neat to look at. Look at it up close. What other little tidbits do we have out here? What else do we have out here on the beach? Okay. I don't 
believe it. There's a pig out here on the beach. You heard me ride a pig. You bacon lovers, look. I just found a pig on the beach. <laughs> you know what? You would never, if you came out to this beach every morning, you would never have to buy your kid any toys. People leave behind the craziest stuff here. Always, always finding tons of beach toys. There's another old lightning whelk shell down here. What's left of it? Part of an old jewel box shell. Absolutely gorgeous here. What a beautiful Saturday morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the walk. Let's snap off another photo. It's one of my favorite views here with this new little lagoon-like area here. It's not quite a lagoon. Although there is a big sandbar offshore here. That's area four beach up at area four beach where Roy sits you have to look close but Roy's right there oh, see the little snowy egret fly by so beautiful out here with the blue sky and those white clouds Guy is determined to catch a little fish out here, running back and forth, in and out of the waves. He got one. He just got one. That is amazing. He just got a little fish. That's so cool. How they do that amongst all those waves is absolutely incredible. Ready? Yep. Gotta swallow it or what? Don't play with your food. He's having a hard time. That's a fat little fish. getting away from them. Trying to get it get it down head first. I think I'm embarrassing him. There, I think he got it. Yep. He swallowed it. <laughs> I don't know where all that fish goes. They eat fit they just sit here eating fish all morning long. The little snowy egrets. Hey, let's keep walking down the beach. Let's see if anything interesting washed up on shore. Since earlier this morning. You never know with all these waves. The tide's just going to be high tide at 9 o'clock, so it's still coming in. Walking right into the wind now, too. Got a pretty nice onshore breeze here this morning. It's causing all these waves. Gulf Coast of Florida, down here in, by Naples, is usually relatively calm. The 
this is a good amount of wave action for us on a Saturday morning. Fun, it's just really relaxing though, listening to the waves. Looking to the north. That sky beautiful. Well, we didn't find any new sea turtle nest this morning. We're still holding at 53 loggerhead sea turtle nests here at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. That's 53 nests on this miles long stretch of beach here at the park. Lord knows how many there are on the coast of Florida. You figure if there's 53 in this mile, <laughs> can you imagine how many are on the entire coastline of Florida? Yesterday, during yesterday morning's beach walk, we got to watch one of the park rangers verify the nest. What they do here at, at this park is when a sea turtle crawls up on the beach, they'll dig down into the potential next, uh, nest site to verify that there are eggs, that there are eggs, and then they mark it off. A lot of beaches they don't verify, they just mark every time a turtle crawls up on the beach, they mark it as nest. Here if you see the, the cage, they call it the cage. You see the cage on the beach that has been verified that there are eggs. You see here's one of the nests up here. This is nest 31. And this old gal, she came right up Oh, raccoons got into this nest. What a shame. Raccoons got into here. I can see broken eggs here. They put this cage on to try and keep the raccoons out, but occasionally they do get in. <coughs> Here's some broken eggs. Darn raccoons. They got into nest 31. Those little varmints. That stinks. That's why those sea turtles lay so many eggs though. Yeah, they can lay almost a hundred eggs at a time. And a female loggerhead can lay more than one cl clutch of eggs during the nesting period. So she can lay a couple hundred eggs during the nesting season. And they need to do that because they say only one in a thousand survives. Crazy, huh? Of course, they're protected by law. The adult sea turtles, the nests, the eggs, the hatchlings, all protected by law. Don't tamper with them. If you do happen to see an, an emerging, a hatching, please do not pick up any of the little baby sea turtles. Step back, give them room. clear shot to the water. Take all the pictures you want. Don't use, don't use any flash photography or video lights on them. That goes for nesting sea turtles as well.
here you can see five turtle nests right in this little area. One, two, three, four, five. Five nests right in this little area. We've already had some hatchings. Look at that water. Beautiful out there, beautiful colors. Absolutely gorgeous colors this morning. Gotta take a picture of that. Come a little further down the beach. That's a big shadow, that dark spot from one of the pine trees. Isn't that beautiful? there. I'm going to take a picture. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry I took so long there. I was waiting for the right wave action. <laughs> Gorgeous view. Looking north up the beach. This nest has already hatched here. Beautiful view up the beach. There's Angelo. What's up, Angelo? Nice windy Saturday morning. <laughs> I see you're advertising the North Naples Country Club. Oh, of course. The NNCC. That was there. Every New Year's Eve, they give away a free T-shirt. That was was that this year's? Yeah, that was this year's. Yeah, 2018. Did it have anything on the back? Oh yeah, Happy New Year. <laughs> we salute you. There you go. Boy, it is breezy out here this morning, isn't it? Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. The water's clear, nice waves. Yeah, the water looks great considering how rough it is. Yep. yep. No, no new sea turtles last night. No. Nope. Yep. 53 nests though, so far. Cool. I saw one of them up against the water. I was more concerned about that one. Yeah, that one unfortunately is probably going to get washed away. That's too bad. The rangers were out here. They got stuck on the beach this morning in their four-wheeler. <laughs> they hit a, I think it was a hole somebody half ass filled in. They got stuck in it this morning. Had to get their other four-wheeler and pull it out. The thing was like sticking up like this in the air. <laughs> Where'd you park? Area 1? I parked Area 1, yep. I'll go say good morning to Roy. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Getting ready for his swim. <laughs> All right, Angelo. See you later. Angelo was, was my next door neighbor for almost 15 years until we recently moved. We didn't move too far. We live in Naples Park, my wife and I. My wife and I and the three dogs. There was a shell tree here that somebody started. There's a couple of them in Area 3. There's one right over here. I saw a bigger one. Is there one a little further south here? One of our Facebook friends asked me to hang a shell on the tree in 
memory of her dog. I don't mind doing that. I love dogs. When you're walking the beach, you'll see a lot of these trees here have shells hanging on them. Some people, they'll hang a shell, they'll hang it as a decoration. Sometimes they'll hang a shell and they'll say a little prayer. Most of the time when people hang a shell on a tree, it's in memory of a loved one. somebody started. I picked up this little broken cockle shell on the beach, had a nice hole in it, and I spotted it. So that'd be a great shell for a shell tree. So let me see if I can get up in here. I'm going to hang that right up in here. That's for our friends. Doggy. I'm going to take a quick photo of that, so don't go anywhere. Hang tight. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. But I'll send her a picture of that. Please don't overwhelm me with requests to hang shells. I do the best I can to remember. Nobody pays me to come out here doing this, walking the beach and sharing it with you. I love doing it. Just do this in my own time. It's fun during sea turtle nesting season. One of these days we're going to come up on a nest that's hatching or maybe we'll catch a sea turtle nesting. That's going to be fun. Always hoping to see that. I've seen my share of little baby sea turtles, but I haven't seen them emerging yet. I've just seen stragglers that the rangers have collected and they release them at night. Well, this is about the middle of the park here. This is the very north end of Area 3 Beach. some interesting shells this morning earlier up at the north end got to chat with Roy for a few minutes that's always fun you can always watch the replay of this video I'll post it on YouTube and I'll share a link to it on Facebook here's three nests in a row look at that these two right here, these are getting close to hatching. This is nest, uh, I believe, 12 and 14 here. They're getting really close to hatching. And this one over here, that's nest 47. That's got a ways to go. You can see how close they are to each other. That's amazing, isn't it? Amazing how close they come to laying their eggs right on top of another nest. But you know, one of those nests there, one of those, and that nest could have been the same sea turtle. Think about that. Two interesting facts. These loggerhead sea turtles, they come back to nest on the beach where they were born and they can lay eggs more than one time during the nesting season. So these, not, these nests, number 12 and 14, they number in, in succession as the, way they find them, as the way they find them on the beach. So these two have been here for a while. 
This one, 47, is relatively new. So you think it's possible that there's two nests here from the same sea turtle? Huh, something to think about. Continue down the beach, back to where I started, down in Area 1. Clouds covered up the sun here for a little while. Pretty breezy, the clouds are moving really fast. This is sad, this nest, we're gonna lose this sea turtle nest here. Very, very sad. I hate when that happens. But she just laid her eggs too close to the beach, darn it. Must have been a young sea turtle. I hate to see that happen. take a picture of that bear with me I'm sorry that took so long that is sad probably the next time I come out here to the beach this nest is gonna be gone you can see already how much of the nest been washed away so those eggs aren't very much deeper than that you know maybe another eight inches or so you can see the waves just pounding away at it that is so sad the tide is still on coming in here the tide is still coming in That was nest number 40, by the way. Very sad to see that happen. But that's why they lay so many eggs. Let me take one more quick photo here, bear with me. Of course, I was gonna take a photo and the sun ducked in behind the clouds. peek out again or not. And this is Area 3 Beach at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Pretty rough morning.
hoping the sun was going to pop out here. There, it might be coming out for a brief instant here. Hang tight, I'm going to take a photo. All right, I'm back. I'm going to keep walking down the beach now. Almost back to where we started this morning. Hey, if you live in Naples this afternoon from noon until 4.30, gonna have a pool party, customer appreciation day at Harold's Place. That's at the Gulf Coast Inn on 41, right across the street from the Coastland Mall. A lot of buy one, get one freeze, hot dogs, hamburgers. Gonna be a lot of fun. They're gonna have a DJ out by the pool. Jump in the pool, cool off. Enjoy some great food and drinks, great friends. Great band at the North Naples Country Club tonight. Double Dare, great duo. You should come out there and check them out. They start about 8.30. North Naples Country Club up in North Naples, Florida on 41 by Naples Park. That's our most recent sea turtle nest right there. Nest number 53. They marked this nest yesterday. Nest number 53. Sun's out right now. Look at that. Lots of great access ramps to the beach here. Anybody that has a handicap, they actually can get a beach wheelchair here. They have beach wheelchairs. Just let them know the ranger station and they'll get you set up with a beach wheelchair. You want to make sure this beach is accessible to all. That's such a beautiful shot right there. I think I should take a picture of that and share it with everybody. Spread the word about the accessibility. There you go. You bring grandma or grandpa out here with the grandkids. Oh, what a blast, huh? Easy access for all. I love when I, I'm going to turn around here. I love this view of the beach. I just love it. It's one of my favorite pictures here. You're going to see it a little later today because I'm going to take another picture. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. How beautiful with that sun shining. This is the north end of Area 2. North end of Area 2 Beach. <clears throat> this ramp, you go probably the very north end of parking lot 2 to get access to that ramp. There's actually some bathrooms down there, nice a bath house, you know, changing room, bathrooms, showers. There's even some vending machines over there. They do have a concession stand here. It's in the middle of parking lot 4. I got snacks and sandwiches, drinks. They also rent paddle boards, canoes, kayaks, beach chairs, beach.
bunch of umbrellas. You get a little bit of everything, even souvenirs. They even have some souvenirs there. Eleanor Wiggins Pass State Park. Tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time, check out my photos and videos. I'm sure you'll find something you like. When you do, hit that share button. Gorgeous colors now, absolutely beautiful colors. North Naples, Florida. It's my little little piece of paradise here on Earth. Nice little breeze out here this morning. Crossing into Area 1 now. That's where we started early this morning. Oh, just around 7 o'clock this morning. The breeze has actually picked up.
Well, it looks like we had a lot of viewers this morning. I hope everybody introduced themselves to each other here in the comments. It's really hard for me to see the comments during the live feed. I wish I could. But there's so much glare on the screen. It's really hard to see. I know you're out there and I know people are commenting. I love it. We're just one big happy beach family here. Again, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember to share these live feeds. I want to see this community just continue to grow. We're almost at 21,000 likes, almost 22,000 followers. Be sure to like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stamp. God bless.